In this video, I'm going to talk about an important concept within Dynamics 365 customer service called as automatic record creation. Now, it is called as ARC in short, but what is ARC? ARC is basically an automatic creation of case record using email. Now, the things which I put in high, uh, highlighted in red can be replaced with other entity. You can create something else. So let's assume you can create a lead okay and also you can use other channels okay i'm just using email as a channel as of now but this can be replaced so this is dynamic okay now what do you mean by that now the basic uh, purpose of basically to create automatic record is uh, i'll give an example like so take for example if you're running a help desk uh, within your organization and if you want say say info at say abc.com that's your email address if someone sends an email to that email address then you want a case to be created automatically so system should do it you you need not go ahead and uh, create those manually okay now one way to create a case is a case agent needs to log into the system and create a case by going into the customer service hub okay now if you want this thing to happen by someone just sending an email to a mailbox then automatic record creation is the answer for that what are the action it does it basically it creates a record in customer service system based on the email received now record creation and update rule consists of rule items that define the conditions okay now you can put a condition say uh, if you receive an email to info at say abc.com and if the subject line contains uh, say ticket in it okay if that is the case then you go ahead and create the record so those conditions we can put uh, in this uh, system okay now automatic record creation step what what are the steps we need to follow okay i will walk you through the step first and then we can do it practically now what are the steps to configure arc now first is you need to have a mailbox now what mailbox the shared mailbox i told you right it can be an info at your company name dot com or uh, it can be say uh, uh, reach us at some email address okay now you can create a shared mailbox using uh, microsoft 365 admin interface you can add members in the shared mailbox then you create a queue in customer service using shared mailbox because you need to have some sort of queue defined uh, and that queue is linked to that shared mailbox you need to enable the shared mailbox uh, go into the backend interface like advanced settings uh, and you enable the test and enable the mailbox approve the email and then come to custom admin center under case settings and automatic record creation you create that arc record so what happens when you create this arc record you get a interface to provision the conditions to evaluate like you can put a condition which says that if the email address uh, uh, email subject contains ticket in it then then only create the case okay then it is tightly linked to a power automate flow you just need to validate the connections and once that connection is set up you just uh, save the rule item just activate the record creation and update rule okay so these are the steps basically now again like just to show you practically i'm not going to do all the steps over here because i have already configured uh, automatic record creation but i'm going to show you some basic steps okay so first what you need to do is like you need to go into admin center if you do not have an access raise a ticket with your uh, it team and they will provision a shared mailbox now how to create a shared mailbox you just create add a shared mailbox and call it as say uh, i'll just call it as reaches okay and this is the email address which we need to create and i'll just say click on save changes the moment you do that it will start provisioning the shared mailbox and uh, once that mailbox is ready you can add members to your shared mailbox so this is very important step you need to add a member okay uh, so let me add a couple of members here i'll just added these people in my shared mailbox and that's it this email address is now uh, like say shared mailboxes provision for me okay so this is all you do it from m365 perspective now what how do we validate this email address now okay so under customer service hub okay now you need to go into the back end first okay now how do you go into the back end you click on this clock icon and you click on advanced settings okay the moment you do that you will be taken to uh, let me go into the back end. yeah this is interface okay so under settings so if you see here under settings 
if you go to email configuration okay you can go into the mailboxes now the mailbox which you have recently created uh, you can uh, validate those mailboxes okay so uh, now here for one of the example i have already created so i'll show you the one which i have already created so there is a q info offices which i have already created okay now before we even validate this mailbox what we can do is and uh, if you go into the uh, customer service hub you know you can see something called as queues over here okay now if i list down the queues let me list down say all queues now these are the queues which are already uh, within my these are the items which is part of my queue okay now if you go into the customer service admin hub admin center sorry let me open that admin center from here uh, you can create a queue i've already covered uh, creation of queue in one of my video you can watch it over there but i'll just navigate to you uh, how how you create a queue so if i go to basic queue and here are the queues which i have already created now let's assume we have this vip queue and here if i put that uh, email address okay so reach us at this is the chat mailbox which we have created just now uh let me save this okay what this says is like i have attached a queue to that shared mailbox okay and this will just validate this information save it and here uh if i let me refresh the screen Now the step is first you create a shared mailbox then you create a queue and then it attach that email address to that queue uh, and then go into the back end now if you see here this has picked up that email address okay then what you need to do is like you need to just click a checkbox over here and you need to test and enable this mailbox okay now i'll just say test and enable this mailbox it will uh, give you a prompt it says select the record you want to test the email uh, i'll just select I'll click on selected records on the current page and I'll say OK. OK, the moment you do that, this uh, email address will be uh, tested and enabled. But uh, before you, after you do this, you need to approve the email. OK, now I'll just click on approve. Now what this step does is it says, do you want to approve the primary email address? I'll say yes, I want to approve this and I have approved this and it has given me a success. Okay, so any email received on this particular email address uh, will be, you know, like uh, be uh, used for uh, this automatic record creation purpose. Now, we haven't done the steps as of now, but we are just setting the ground. Okay, now, once you do all these things, what you need to do is go into customer service or uh, admin center. Okay. Under case setting, so I'm in the customer service admin center app. So I'll just show you how to go uh, to create an automatic record creation. So here on the left hand side, you will see under customer support case settings. Okay. Under case setting, you have an option called as called automatic record creation and update rule. Let me click on manage. Okay. Now I have already created two automatic record creation and update rule i can create a third one i'll just show you how to create it first you click on new and then you say what is the rule name so i'll just say vip case received okay so maybe that's my uh, rule name uh, yeah vip case received that's a bit slow so it's just showing me it's a bit of lag okay vip keys will receive okay on that some email address okay now which queue i want to pick up the vip queue i want to monitor this queue what are you going to monitor you're going to monitor the email okay now what you can do is you can just say click on save okay and now here are the condition which you can say what are the condition to evaluate an action to take now i'll say if the condition is a uh, subject contains uh, ticket as a keyword okay now condition that must pass to continue i'll say add a row and i'll say uh, select a field now here the field would be uh, email subject or it can be email message or it can be anything you know 
uh, let me say if I have a subject over here, so subject of the email, if it equals, not say equals, we'll just say it contains the word ticket in it. The moment it contains the word ticket, then let's go ahead and create the case. Okay. Now here, uh, I I can uh, save here. Okay, this record. Okay, and this will. Uh, what it will do essentially it will ask you to configure in microsoft power automate so you need to open save and open power automate okay so let me open this now what essentially this action does it creates a power automate flow okay you just need to open the flow validate the connection okay now check out the name of the flow which it creates in the back end okay uh, let it load it says arc it's automatic record creation it says subject contains ticket okay and it says don't delete it okay now this flow will connect to a dataverse i'll just say some of the connections are not authorized let me click on continue and then i'll click on save okay the moment i do it save it will try to validate the connection based on my login credentials and if everything works fine this flow is already created for you you know it will automatically work just out of the box okay now uh, that's it it's 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 done you know i'll just go i'll just show you uh, like the flow which uh, gets created at the back end now if you type arc these are the flows which uh, gets created you know like the subject contains ticket okay uh, now this flow which we have just resolved the connection now we need to just go ahead and turn on the flow so that your changes are persisted and this flow gets triggered whenever an email is received okay now these are the basic step you need to do and now here on the screen here when we have clicked configure in microsoft power automate it says power automate creates a flow based on the action you selected please confirm the information uh, within the action that you're creating and you can also add or edit action in power automate now here everything is done we click on save now our uh, i just click on save and open power automate i just click on save and then this is all saved this information will be saved again this also i will save it and my uh, record creation and update rule should work in a moment okay now uh I will not test it with the record which I have created, but I'll show you for the earlier record which I have created. So uh, let me go to Outlook here. So I've created an earlier rule before. So if I click on new email, and this is for this email address, so info at zero KMLK. Uh, now here, if I create a uh, some ticket, you know, and if it has a keyword of ticket in it, okay, Let me spread it correctly. So pick it and then I'll put some random numbers. You know, this is let's assume this is some ticket and someone is raising some ticket for this email address. So this is some value. And if I click on send, okay, then technically what should happen is uh, an email is sent to this email inbox and this ticket should get created in the back end. So, uh, Let's go into our customer service application, customer service hub. And once you are in customer service hub, you can go into cases and see whether that record has been created or not. It might take a while. Uh, sometimes it is instant, instantly done, uh, but uh, sometimes it take a while, you know. Uh, now, if I do a refresh, so this is the earlier one which this ticket got created, you know, like uh, like a couple of hours back where I tested the system. Uh, but uh, for this particular record, let me create one more ticket. You know, let me create new email. Info. And you can put a uh, ticket multiple times, you know, uh, and try testing whether it worked or not.
uh, let me say send okay to so this info queue uh, and then I can just do a refresh and see and now if you see this earlier ticket uh, which was there now it appeared okay now this is the ticket which was created using uh, using the email so this 5564 now if you see here this is the one which we created 5564 now the earlier one this one 3434 is also under process so over a period of time you may also see 3434 3, here now as you see over here yes this is also created so that's it folks this is all about uh, creating a a ticket or a case or an incident using an email address and that's what is called as automatic record creation so no one is going here in the interface and creating this case but this case is getting populated and uh, you know like we have attached this to a queue so if you click over here on the ticket and if you you can you can do other actions on this particular cases as well like you can open this case and then you can if you don't want it to be assigned to say some specific queue you can route it to some different channel or you can route it to some different queues as well okay now if you go into the queues over here and if you see the vip queue then uh, you you can see all the items which are part of this vip queue and then you can assign this queue to your agent and then that your agent can you know like start resolving those cases okay so for this example like for this case the agent can go ahead see this case and then they can assign it to say uh, either close it close by themselves or they can assign it to say some other person or they can release back to the other queue okay so that's it uh, for automatic record creation process. Thanks for watching.